Guys, this is an install video for the CGD Graphics two-tone wrap. So for this installation, I've chosen white for the inside and red for the outside. Now it's about 40 degrees outside, way too cold to install on a motorcycle or a wheel outdoors. So I'm inside the shop and just on a model rim and I'm going to show you guys how to do it properly. Just be sure that when you install them, uh, it's at least 72 degrees, not in direct sunlight, uh, and be careful of wind because when you peel the vinyl, wind can make it flap and then it gets stuck together. So you're going to get a full set, enough for both sides of both wheels, plus spares just in case you mess up. So you start with the inside, just peel one of these pieces. Now the curve, it's going to curve upwards and you place it on the rim. Not upside down, then it's just gonna be a big old mess. So what you wanna do is you actually wanna start just line it up towards the edge. And by doing a longer area, you ensure that the rest of the piece will be along the same edge. But you can guide it and change the direction if it is messed up and it won't be noticeable. So along the outside, just guide it with one hand and press down lightly with the other. So now just the outside part is stuck, not this part at all. Now the next part, I'm just gonna rub you're getting all the air out from underneath and slowly conforming the vinyl to the inside. And just like that, one quarter is done. And when you take your next piece, you want to overlap just about a quarter of an inch. You can go up to three-eighths and it'll still be okay. So the idea, just this outer edge, line it up with this outer edge. Now when you're installing these, it's best to have the bike up on motorcycle stands so your wheel friends spins freely. That way you can turn it whenever need be. And the same thing as before. The material is actually pretty tough, so don't worry if it gets stuck to where it's not supposed to be stuck to. You can just peel it right back up. You see all these ripples happening, nothing to be concerned about. It's right back here, just pull it up a little bit and then slowly go back down.
And this would be the last piece. On the last piece, you just want to kind of line up the last piece just to see where you are if you altered your position on the rim a little bit so that when you do meet up with it, it sits perfectly flush. And the inside is done. Now you can leave it like that. You can send us a message and we can set up a special listing for you if you don't want the two-tone. Now we're going to do the outer lip. So similar to the regular stripes, you're just going to start up right along the lip. Once you have it all along the outside, sort of the same technique. You're just going to slowly contour the material inward, and there you go. Second piece, overlap about a quarter of an inch to three eighths. And of course, when you do this on the next side, you'll be better at it. So you'll know exactly how much to overlap, all that good stuff. And you'll see, since we lined it up right, you can't even see where the joint is. Now the last piece. Now the same with that last piece on the inside. Before you actually lay it down, you want to make sure that it's lined up properly. That looks just about right. And you see how much the overlap was in the last piece, about an inch and a quarter. That just shows you how much leeway you have. And there you go. Two-tone inner rim wrap.